Hello YouTube and thanks for joining me here in the van for another what hopefully will be a tutorial. So my van's poorly. What happened the other day, my key started playing up. Uh, you put the key in the ignition and sometimes it wouldn't start straight away and you had to wiggle about with the steering lock and eventually the key would turn and the van would start. Left it a bit longer than I should. Um, because it's now come to a point where the key doesn't turn at all. Apparently this is a common issue on the Volkswagen Transporters. There's a bit of metal that breaks off inside the steering lock. Which then prevents the key from turning as it should. Now the van is stuck outside my house. So I desperately need to um, get it back on the road. Please excuse the voice. I am ill. I've spent the last four days in bed. Um, it's Covid. I am keeping away from everyone, but obviously I'm in the van and I need to get this work out now that I'm kind of getting back on my feet. So what I'm going to do is take you through how to take off your a steel lock. So first of all, what we want to be doing is getting the steering wheel up out as far as possible so we've got more room. Uh, I don't know if you can see that here, we've got underneath here, we've got a torque screw, okay, you want to undo that one. And then the cover will start to separate, okay. However, I did encounter a bit of a problem where it seems to be tight up in this area and rather than force it, I've actually gone on YouTube myself and it turns out inside here, there's a torque screw which holds it on but to get to the said torque screw you've got to take the bloody steering wheel off so i don't know who's come up with that idea uh, so this job is going to turn out to be a bit of a harder one so i've already started taking off the steering wheel and if you've never done one before okay you'll be putting your key in get your steering wheel turned 180 degrees at the back there will be a hole to get a screwdriver in, you unclip a, um, a spring. Okay, you want to then turn your ignition key back on again, turn the steering wheel back the other way 180 degrees, there'll be another hole at the top. Screwdriver in, click that in. Um, if you need a video, I've actually done a video on changing this steering wheel when I upgraded it for this aftermarket one, so you can go and have a look at that. That will then get you the airbag off, like so. Okay, just undo the clips. So we're going to move that out the way. In the middle, we're going to have a Torx bolt. We're going to remove that. And then down in the centre here, this is quite the important bit, which if you watch my other video, I make a point of it. But you want to have the mark on here marking up. Marking up. You want to have this mark lining up with the mark on the steering wheel. Now, if you remove the steering wheel and your mark is at a different point then you want to make a new mark and put it back the same as you took it off if that makes sense however my mark is lines up as it should so we're going to give that a wiggle and the steering wheel comes off steering wheel's off got the top cover the bottom cover the bottom cover just separates away from the bottom be careful not to break any of these plastic lugs off okay be very very careful then push it out the way be careful with this as well guys to try and keep it in the center you don't want that to lose its position once that's out the way the two screws in question don't know if you can see that, you've got a torque screw there and a torque screw there, which is already loose by the looks of it. So remove them two screw torque screws and then this bottom cover should come off. That one's already out. It's 
very carefully without trying to force anything. There's the other screw. That needs a bit of a clean. And then we have one bottom cover. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Fucking cold. Right, that's still in the centre. Um, what I'm going to do is going to press pause there while I try and figure how to get this um, ignition barrel slash steering lock off back in a jiffy. Next step then, so we need to remove this ignition switch. You can either disconnect there and leave this connected to the steering lock, but it needs to come off anyway. So easier to undo these two grub screws, one there, one there. So you need to get yourself a tiny, and I mean a tiny screwdriver. It was a pain in the ass trying to find a tiny screwdriver. Undo them. And that should pop out and move it to one side. Um, yeah, so if you now join me at the top. And have a look down here. You can see some bright spark has decided to use tamper proof bolts. One there and one there. So now we need to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to get them off. <sighs> See you soon. So I have brought a multitude of tools into the van with me <clears throat> to try and get these tamper-proof bolts out. First, all, first off, I'm going to try with a sharp and it needs to be a sharp chisel and a decent weighted hammer. Um, I think I can do at least one of them this way. But one of them is sort of buried and I don't know whether I can get a decent enough angle. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. So the secret when you're doing this time kind of thing is make a couple of notches so you've got something to wedge the chisel into so it's got something to bite onto and then you can change the angle to get it to try and spin if you like. That probably makes more sense in my head than it does across to you like on the camera. Did that turn because what happens with these tamper proof bolts they tend to be tight but then when they go they go really easy and they just come loose and I think that did turn so I think yeah yeah with it with it Come on, you bugger. I can't really be asked doing this because recovering from COVID, I'm tired, I'm ratty, I'm congested, but I need the van. Bloody hell. It's like a never ending bolt. There we go. So for those of you that have never seen a tamper proof bolt, that's what one looks like. So there's no place to put an Allen key, no place to put a Torx, no place to put a spanner. 
So as you can see, I don't know if that's coming across, try and focus. You can just about see where I've got the um, the chisel to bite. And that's why it needs to be a sharp one. And you've seen that in real time, it didn't take me long to do. And there it is, it's off. Now I just need a cable tie to cut that. See you in a bit. I've just cut away a cable tie that was holding this in position there. Pop. Right, you can take a picture of how this cable sits so that you know for when it goes back. Um, so we just need to disconnect this. And then that's it, the whole module is off. That's part of the steering lock. Yeah. Right, so we're back in the man cave, the module's off, module, steering lock, um, whatever you want to call it. It's off anyway. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was to take off. I think um, even them tamper-proof bolts, when I seen them, I had a wave of dread come over me. But even they come off a lot easier than I thought. And I think it, that was all down to just having that sharp chisel. So bear that in mind if you're tackling it. Right, so the what I believe was wrong goes wrong with these is the key turns and then it stops. Which I think is something to do with this steering lock. Now it comes in two parts, so I need to go away and figure out how to take this ignition uh, ignition switch or ignition module away from the steering lock otherwise if you have to replace the steer the, this part i believe it gets expensive because i think that's coded to your key now i've already phoned in anticipation the main dealers for the steering lock they wanted 122 pounds plus vat which is a bit steep for what it is um but I've had a look on eBay, you can get other brands, half decent brands, uh, brands that I trust for a fraction of the cost. However, we're having trouble figuring out which is which. So I needed this part number that's on it. I'm now going to go away, try and get this ignition module away from the steering lock. And I'll let you know how we get on. Right guys, welcome back. Um, it's actually a couple of days later than when I started taking this off. So, to get the immobiliser part away from the main body, you will need a specialist tool called Paperclip 1A. Okay, open the paperclip out, turn your key to the second position, and really needs a separate video of its own but you should see you should see a hole that runs down the side hello and welcome back it's actually two days later or was it three than when i actually took this off um so to get the actually immobilizer part away from the the main ignition steering lock is as follows so you will need a specialist tool this paper clip 1a open the paper clip out and then you will turn your key to position two i think it is and then down the side there you will see a dot on the main housing and a hole that runs down the side of the actual barrel it's quite hard to show you and you need to line the two up you need to play around with it and you should 
be able with the paper clip to feel a spring at the bottom. Once you've got the spring pressed in, this will come out. Okay. And then there you have it. You're left with your ignition steering lock. Now, I searched high and low, found loads of companies, eBay. I got sick of phoning people for this part. I could not find one for love, no money. So I had to bite the bullet and go and get one from the main dealer. So I've just got this this morning from TPS. It cost me £165.80, which I'm really pissed off about because on eBay you can pick up ones for the older T5 for about 45 quid. So I'm not a happy bunny. But anyway, there's the new one. Um, seems to have come with the actual ignition the ignition switch which I didn't know it came with that which is probably why they've justified the cost so I need to replace that this is obviously an upgraded version according to Volkswagen um, so I now need to get this back onto there and hopefully we can be on our way so there it is all put back together um, the immobilizer is locked into place hopefully this is going to work it's going to be an expensive mistake if it doesn't um, also quite annoyed with VW 160 odd quid for a part I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to resupply some fresh um, anti-tamper bolts which they haven't so I've been scouring my toolbox I've come across a couple of bolts and some spring washers um, that fit the thread hopefully they're going to do so what we need to do now is take this ignition switch off which i'll bring you down for a closer look so to get this off it should be a case of just lifting this tab and it should he says just come out there we go nice and easy and then it's a reverse put the other one back in clip that into place like so hopefully these bolts are not going to be too long Otherwise, I am screwed. So far, so good. Just need to get a socket and nip them up. But before I nip them up, I think it's a good idea to see if it starts. Just make sure the immobiliser cable is back in. Nothing's twisted or fouling. It goes up and down okay. Right, fingers crossed. Well, we've got ignition lights. Hey! Right, we've got an air light. Uh, an air light? We've got an airbag light on on the dash, which I was expecting. Because obviously there's no airbag on it. 
we can turn that off with a diagnostic machine later on. Happy days. Happy with that. Don't want them too tight because it's only soft aluminium. Make sure the key turns again. Fantastic. Now we can start putting everything back together again. Don't rush this bit, just take your time because you don't want to be breaking the plastic.
when it comes to fitting the steering wheel remember to line up the mark exactly on the one that it came off otherwise your wheel alignment is going to be out No, we're definitely right on that one. Now then, if you're here, to learn how to do this yourself. I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. That when it comes to putting your steering wheel back. You are supposed to. Use a torque wrench. To the required torque. Specified by the manufacturer. Now, before you go in using any ratchets or anything, make sure you've hand threaded the bolts all the way in so that you know you haven't cross threaded it. And I ain't going to use a torque crunch, I'm just going to nip this up myself because I'm quite confident. There we go. Also, when you're playing around with an airbag, you should, in theory, disconnect the battery because you don't want that going off in your face. Final test, steering lock works, steering lock comes off, conditioning lights, and it starts, happy days. Like I said, got an airbag light on on the dash, because we started it without the airbag being connected, that's not a biggie. Um, I whack a machine on there and get it taken off right hope you like that one guys um if you're doing this yourself just take your time uh yeah take your time remember to disconnect the battery when you're playing with the airbag torque up your steering wheel and uh yeah good luck right i'm going to switch off there please do all usual like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.